All right, let's talk about Wikipedia. A lot of teachers don't like students using Wikipedia as part of the research process. And I think that stems from the fact that even though a lot of Wikipedia is fact-checked by universities and other historians, it's still open to the general public to edit with, I mean, with some stipulations, but it's not as centrally controlled as maybe say uh, an encyclopedia or a news website would be. And so for that reason, a lot of teachers, including me, do not allow students to cite Wikipedia in a research project or a paper. That does not mean that you can't use Wikipedia to help you with the research process. And today I'm gonna to show you how to do just that. So starting from the Wikipedia homepage at wikipedia.org, we are going to search for, oh, I don't know, George Washington. George Washington is the president of the United States. He's the first one. He's a fairly important person in history. So he definitely has a lengthy Wikipedia page. And although we cannot cite this information in this article, uh, that does not mean that it's not helpful. So what we can see here is that there's a brief description of his life and all that he uh, did during his time in the military and as president. There's also citations. So this is really helpful because I can click on these citations and, and presumably see what um, the authors were using when they wrote these uh, paragraphs. So that we'll, we'll show you those in a second. The next thing I really like about this is it's got a very lengthy table of contents. It's also got some pretty hefty bi biographical information over here. So I can see all the political and military offices that he held, some information about his family. Uh, very, very nice uh, quick glance at the uh, first president. So I can also see here that if I'm just looking at a part of his life, like let's say the Constitutional Convention, I wanna see what he did during that event. I can click on it, it takes me right there. It's also got several um, helpful blue hyperlinks to other Wikipedia articles. So if I wanted to read more about a topic that, or a person that Washington's connected to, but is not the focus of this article on George Washington, I could click on that in a new tab. So if I wanna look at one of these citations that are here, I just click on it, it takes me right there. I can see that this is a book. Um, and if I click on it again, it takes me to the, to the main citation so that I can then click on it and see what it is. And it looks like this is a book in the Internet Archive. I happen to have read this book. I know it's quite good. Um, but this this is helpful because this this is the source that I could cite. So even though I can't cite the Wikipedia page, I can use a citation I found on Wikipedia because I can see that it's a credible uh, source. So that's definitely helpful. The other thing that I could do uh, with some of these sources is I could click around and see if I'm interested in some of the other ones. So. Um, it looks like this is another book. It looks like it was these particular pages were used. It's in Google Books, so therefore I could cite this um, as a source. So like I said, even though I can't cite the Wikipedia article, that does not mean that I can't cite the sources that were used in the Wikipedia article if those are credible. Um, usually you'll see some website addresses like right here. This is this might be an image because this is oh, we're smooth walled. So something I can't see in my my school district. Uh, so that way I'd have to look that up on my home computer on my phone if I wanted to look at it. Uh, I can also see here that there is a lot of books, but I can also see these external links here. So this is George Washington's resources at the University of Virginia, which and I'm being blocked for some reason. Um, let's see if this one works. So this looks like to be an episode of the BBC Radio Hour. Uh, this would be a really great secondary source. It's 45 minutes, so I'd probably have to download it and listen to it. But this is something that might be helpful for my project as well. So even just right here in the last few minutes, I found at least two or three good secondary sources that could be used on my project if I were writing about George Washington. So this could help you get through a lot of your research very quickly if you needed to, because this is a pretty well-sourced article. Not all Wikipedia articles are like this, but a lot are. Now, the other thing I'd like to point out is the, the images. So if you're looking for an image and you click on it and say, oh, this works, I wanna use this as in my appendix. The trick is here is that you can't directly cite it from Wikimedia. Wikimedia has the same issue as Wikipedia. But like, for example, this picture I can see is by Gilbert Stewart. I can see that it's in this museum here. So if I have my information right, I should be able to um, 
it's just his Wikipedia article. I should be able to find that. So I, I might have to look in the National Portrait Gallery or uh, see where that that is if it's somewhere else. But these are definitely this is not working. I should have checked this ahead of time. Um, but that's that's something that you could potentially use for an appendix. So if I was looking for, um, I don't know this one. This is uh, this is, looks like it was posted by another Wikipedia user. So that one I'd have to be a little bit more careful using if I couldn't find it somewhere else. Uh, these are from the United States Mint, it looks like, so those would be a little bit easier to find. But there are also other places that you could look to see um, about images, like the Digital Public Library of America or something like that. So Wikipedia is a really great place to uh, start looking for information, and it's definitely a good place to help us get some leads. So with that, that's how you use Wikipedia in an article or a research project. If you have any questions, please ask your teacher.